In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a pie chart in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created these platforms for four products. So when I click, it will show me the percentage of product A. So here comes the percentage, which is 25%. When I click, it will show me the product B percentage, 35%, 60%, and 75%. And I have created a few more slides with some different backgrounds. So you can see here I've added a background here. And then I've added one more slide where you can add some detailed text to it. So depending on the requirement, you can just choose the slide. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video. And you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the slide background to any grid and fill background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the old shape draw a small old shape maybe this much size size and shape outline make it no outline and align center align middle and you can give this any dark color here i'm going to give which is a dark blue then i'm going to give a 3d look for that right mouse click go to the format shape under the effects go to the 3d rotation from the presets i'm going to choose which is under perspective perspective relaxed okay so it looks something like this and then what you can do is you can go to the 3d format here and you can see the depth you can start giving a little bit of depth which is maybe 11 to 12 points okay and once this is done i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d once again and then shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and hold the shift key reduce the size and make it smaller and put it exactly in the center you can see here i have put this one then go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this one which is the block arch draw it you can see here actually you have to draw the same size here so the size of this is 3.71 okay so here also i'm going to make it as 3.71 and 3.71 and then using the format painter i'm going to copy the same uh steps you know whatever i've done for this one where i'm going to make it as 3d rotation so i'm going to select this one go to the home you can see here format painter and click it here so it looks something like this and then this one i'm going to make it as a gradient color okay so select the gradient color here i'm going to choose two colors so one color stop i'm going to give a maybe a light pink and other one i'm going to give a dark pink you can see here it looks something like this or if you want the pink light pink you can bring this side and dark pink to the other sides okay and then what you can do is bring this exactly on top of this you can see here bring exactly on top of this and then start reducing the size so you can see here i'm just going to reduce the size from both the ends and i'm going to keep it like this now the height i would like to increase for that you have to go to the effects and then go to the 3d format the depth instead of 11 so we can just increase it you can see here depending on the requirement maybe i can go with 50 and exactly i'm going to put it here and make sure that this is okay should not be front you can see here this is actually back so that is good so it looks something like this you can see here again this color if you want to change to more darker color also you can just change it any color so i can just go to the more colors here and i can just change it or what you can do is you can go to the effects drill down and you can see this lighting and material so you can just choose any dark color from here you can see here it's become more darker here see here more darker so whichever way you want you can just keep it all right so even for this also you can apply the same thing again if you want to more darker you can select like this all right so different different combinations you have so any combinations you can just choose from this one so this is the first one is over so now the next thing which i'm going to do is if i want to uh, duplicate this one and before that one let me just add one shadow effect so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a oval shape something like this shape outline no outline shape fill make this as black color and transparency i'm going to make this as 70 percent then go to the effects 
under the soft edges increase the soft edges here you can see here all right and then put it here and then send this to back so we have got the shadow effect as well here all right and i would like to have one more shadow effect here for this white oval shape so press ctrl d to duplicate reduce it you can see here again if you want you can reduce the transparency here so if you want more darker and then send this back so you can see here i've added shadow effect for this as well as for this so now uh, instead of adding the text let's duplicate this one so now i'm going to select all okay or you can press ctrl a to select all the objects and then move this aside here you can see here then hold the ctrl shift key add it towards the right okay now again press ctrl a to select all the objects and drill it down if you want the four pie charts so you can see here we have done this one now it's very easy for me i can just simply increase the size from both ends you can see here from this one as well as this one just align it properly you can see here you need to just align it so now the color i'm going to change the color sorry change the color to some other color maybe some a green color i can use some dark green and some light green color or any or you can just go to the more colors here i can just choose any color of your choice this one and more colors i can just give some different color combination so you can see you can give any different color combinations you can change the direction the direction i would like to have maybe like this so you can just change the direction according to your requirement you can see here so now for this one again i'm going to increase it you can see here so just use just use these two small orange points and then start working on that one again if you want to reduce the width you can just reduce the width also here you can see here so it looks something like this yeah and again change some other color maybe i can just give orange and uh, yellow color you can see here different different color combinations you can choose it and once this is done what you can do is you can use the same thing here for also you can just cover it maybe more reduce the width you can see here yeah so it's done so now what i'm going to do is okay so let me just change the color for this as well maybe a light blue and a dark blue yeah it's done also so now go to the insert text box i'm going to say this is as for example as uh, product a all right i'm going to make this as open sans extra bold center align if you want you can reduce the size and put it here and for this also you can go to the text options go to the effects under the 3d rotation i'm going to choose the same one which is perspective relax so it looks something like this so press ctrl d to duplicate move it here this would be my product b and this would be my product c and then this is my product d all right so i can just go and just click it here and i can just change it so you can see here c and d and similarly I, you can just put the percent also i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d bring it here make the font as white and say this is 25 percent only for example you can just put 25 percent here press ctrl d this could be for example say a 40 percent so i'm going to change this to 40 percent then select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate move it down if it is not visible what you can do is you can just give a different font color also here maybe you can use black so it's more visible here so i'm going to make this as for example 60 percent and this could be like uh, 75 percent all right 
So this way you can just uh, do uh, any pie chart in PowerPoint and if you like to give more uh, text and some header you can just go to insert shapes select uh, one rectangle draw a small rectangle here all right and then shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with some gray color and go to insert text box you can add your headline here all right so center align make it bold increase the size it's done and if you like to connect this one so go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose the freeform shape so just click it here make it a, a little bit bend and double click here all right so it's done so press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to uh, make it flip horizontal and i'm going to put it here press ctrl d bring it down again rotate this one sorry I have to just to click two times twice you can see here and again duplicate this bring the other side and I'm going to make it flip horizontal again all right and again if you want to do some basic animations go to the animations enable the animation pane so here I'm going to choose this one and add animation more entrance effects I'm going to give either I can give peek in which looks something like this or I can give some uh, uh, strips or random bars so just let me just choose the random bars click OK and for this I can use this basic zoom and this should happen after previous you can see here so now if I play it comes something like this so I can just copy this one click on animation painter click it here and select this one and put it here so like this you can just do the animation for the rest of the pie charts as well